Hey everybody. In this video, we're going to be talking about cameras. Now, of course, as you all know, I'm a computer technician, not really a camera technician. But here's what's going on. My DXG56MV HD camcorder that I shoot most of my videos with has suffered a failure. The electronics on it is in perfect condition. It works just fine. The lens, on the other hand, is not working in good condition. The, re the um, issue at hand is this camera here, the, the DXG56MV camera, um, the lens on it will not fully retract back into landscape mode or infinity mode. It's stuck in like a semi-macro semi mode. More or less the lens assembly inside the camera, you flip the knob on the side of the camera, it raises the lens up to get macro. But for some reason or another, it's not going all the way back down. So, I mean, I've already taken the camera apart several times. Right now, I'm shooting my videos with the DXG579V camera I have on hand. So, basically what I did is um, I went to the thrift store and picked up some cheap cameras. This Olympus here and this real cheap plastic toy camera. It says Bratz on the back of it. Real cheap. And I'm going to go and discuss with you a very important thing that you need to know when it comes to disassembling a camera. Now, of course, if you're like me, the typical DIY person that comes in electronics and stuff, when something quits working, you gotta tear apart and have a look inside and see if there's something simple to be fixed. And there's a hidden hazard when it comes to cameras, in particular cameras that have flash, such as my Canon PowerShot A470, or this Olympus camera, or even this camera here. Basically, the issue is these cameras have a very very high voltage capacitor inside of them that stores a charge that runs the flash strobe now usually when the cameras turned off it will try to dissipate this charge in some cases and these capacitors the thing the big issue is these capacitors can hold a residual charge that can really be bad for you and most of these capacitors are usually rated around 300 volts DC And here's the big thing that bugs me when it comes to cameras like this with flash built into them. There's no warning labels at all on the camera anywhere. Normally on something that has high voltage contained inside or potential high voltage contained inside, such as let's say a computer power supply, you'll see symbols such as the electricity symbol or the screwdriver with a X to it or whatever. Just to give you, uh, give you some general examples. Nowhere just see on this camera any of those symbols that warn you not to take it apart. And that really just bugs me because there's many people out there that like to take stuff apart. I've always loved to take stuff apart even when I was a kid. And um, let me tell you, I would say it was about a year ago, uh, my grandpa had gave me an older HP digital camera that had some serious issues with it. You put batteries in it, the batteries would get hot as if there was a short circuit inside the camera. Well, I figured, hey, I'd take the camera apart and um, as soon as I got the back off, I started to hear a little bit of a static noise and then I saw a big capacitor like that. And that kind of freaked me out. Then I looked online and learned about um, high voltage flash capacitors inside cameras. So I'm sharing this with you all. So that way you all will know about this. Should you ever decide to take the cover off your digital camera or conventional camera like this. And just have a look at this capacitor. It's, it is huge. Just for an example, let me show you a penny. Here's a penny. That's a big capacitor. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's not that, not anywhere near as big as I say the main capacitor inside of a computer power supply but it is rated for around 300 volts or so not sure about the no I don't know about the microfarads but it's rated for around 300 volts DC and that's enough to potentially injure you or if not kill you so you have to be very careful when it comes to these things and I went ahead and used my multimeter <clears throat> to check the voltage I touched the probes up to the cap and there was barely any charge at all, let's say in the millivolts, so it was discharged. I'm assuming maybe this camera has some safety circuitry in it that 
discharges that flash cap when the camera is not being used. Because I bought this camera at the thrift store today and it still had a battery in it. So that was hours ago. So luckily for that, the capacitor was discharged and I touched my pliers, my insulated handle pliers up to the capacitor and there was no spark or anything. So this capacitor is discharged and I went ahead and started to um, remove this capacitor and I figured I'd go ahead and stop this and make this video for you. So anyways, um, <clears throat> like I say, um, if you go to take apart your digital camera that has flash in it, be very, very, very careful because these things have a very high voltage capacitor inside that can st store a residual charge if the camera doesn't have appropriate circuitry. And even if it does, it's safe to just double check and make sure that capacitor is discharged. Now, let's say if you're working on a camera such as this DXT 567V or let's say a modern day digital camcorder, you usually don't have much to worry about because these don't have any high voltage caps in them. Now, let's say you're working on a old old camera for example last year I found a really old it was, it was an old color video camera it was manufactured in the early 80's and as I took it apart I noticed um, marks on the PCB saying that this trace was carrying 700 volts DC and I was like ooh be careful <laughs> anyways um, like let's say in this camera here there's no flash no high voltage flash capacitor and in the DXG 579V there's a really bright LED but still no flash so no flash capacitor now here's another example my old DXG 305V I actually snapped the lens piece off the front of it just to have a look inside but notice right here there's a flash there's a strobe flash right here so that means this camera has a high voltage flash capacitor inside. So let's say if I was to take apart this camera, I'd have to watch out for that. Anyways, um, like I say again, be careful when I'm um, taking apart your camera. And I highly encourage you to do research on the internet about discharging these flash capacitors. I found a very good article that, te that tells you how to discharge these capacitors so that way you can safely play around with your camera. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.